Hey everyone, it's Nicholas Wilton at Art to Life, and I'm super excited to be introducing you to um, Northern California artist Adam Wolpert. Adam's been a friend of mine for, for I don't know, 40 years probably. Um, we've been making art together, talking about art, going out, painting landscapes, all different kinds of stuff for years and years and years. Um, our work's really different right now, um, but Adam has been involved in making these extraordinary tree paintings. So Adam, um, thanks, thanks so much for joining us. Well, it's great to be here, Nick, and uh, it's always good to see you. It's been, we've shared so much over the years, so much art and so much experience about painting, and I've learned a lot from you, but we're, we're doing very different things right now. It's really interesting to see. Kind of update everyone, like uh, tell, tell everyone where you're living and kind of, you know, because this, this relates to uh, these tree paintings. Yeah, I live in Northern California in West Sonoma County, a place called the Occidental Arts and Ecology Center, which is O-A-E-C dot O-R-G. Your studio is located in this really beautiful natural setting. I've been there. It's, it's gorgeous, uh, surrounded by nature and um, so, but tell us about these oak paintings and, uh, the, these are oil paintings, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they're four by six foot oil paintings. Um, <clears throat> and they, uh, it, it's kind of new for me to paint at this scale. I've, I've done a lot of four by five, uh, work, abstract paintings and some oak trees. And I've stepped up to four by six. So there's something about the size of them and the way they're kind of body size that, um, seems important for this subject. The trees are almost all local, either right on, on the, in my home or across the street or up the street, but they're very local. And so I'm able to visit them uh, frequently and sit with them. And I really see them as my teachers. I've really come to kind of see them not just as subjects for my paintings, but actually as, as like teachers and mentors that, I, that I'm kind of in relationship with. Oh, okay. So, so how long do you um, how long do you work on these paintings? I work on them for a couple of months. Um, since the pandemic started, I've been able to paint full time, pretty much, um, pretty close to full time. And uh, other things in my life have um, were put on hold by the pandemic. And so, painting forty hours a week, I can usually paint one of those paintings in in a month and a half or two months. And so it's a really deep uh, dive into just one image. And, um, and I find that the images, I mean, it makes sense because the images for me reflect the trees and the trees are, are like whole communities. And sometimes I almost feel like I'm looking at a whole city. You know, the, the number of organisms that thrive because of that tree and live in relationship to that tree, are, are, it's, it's astonishing. Yeah, it's really layered. There's so much going on with this tree. Like you're, you're telling the story of the tree with, you know, all the animals that come by it. And, and imagine standing there in front of this thing, working on it, you know, and all the, all the patterns of light and, and, you know, the leaves are decomposing and falling off and things are growing and things are changing. And it's, uh, it's kind of remarkable. Yeah, and the and the tree is constantly speaking of its environment. You know, the the light, just the light that falls on the tree is is moving so quickly. I mean, I'll sit sometimes and just look at the shadows on the branches, and I feel like I'm looking at a, a second hand on a watch. You know, going around. I mean, I just you, the shadows are just moving. The complexity of the form just makes the light so uh dynamic and and then of course you know the wind comes up and it changes the sound the sound of the leaves and things falling and 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 yeah the animals the birds i mean the whole the whole engagement is just so rich and it just it gives you so much and so um when i'm painting them i'm you know i'm trying to connect the painted mark with the the real lived experience of you know seeing this thing and and um and it's cha it's challenging i'm not really sure how to do it so everyone is a, a new discovery i think it's also something really interesting about these trees is that this time they're they're so old they're like way older than us you know they're ancient 
And uh, that's obviously going to come in, in into the work. You know, I read somewhere, uh, you know, that someone, someone described redwood trees as ambassadors from another planet, you know, that, that, that the, there's such wisdom in, in these beings, right? And, and so, like, what are, you, what, what, are you, what are your takeaways? Like, what, what are you learning from, from standing in front of these elders? <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, there are so many things to say about that. I think given our time here, the one thing I'll say is the maybe the most poignant, which is that as ancient as these trees are in the 25 years that I've been living in this place, which is a place filled with oak trees, uh, I've seen more than half of them die from sudden oak death, which is this fungus Phytophthora remora that is causing this massacre of, of oaks all across Northern California. And to sit in front of these trees as they get sick and die, um, knowing that they have lived for hundreds of years and I've only been here for 25, um, is, is just so poignant. And, and um, one can't help being kind of sad, feeling a sense of, of loss and also feeling a sense of just the fragility of our whole ecosystem and, our, and, and the lives of every being in it. Um, in the face of these massive changes that that we're witnessing, yeah, that's so so sad, you know. But but in a way, nature it's like it offsets that, right? Like <clears throat> there's such optimism in nature, and and you know, I think about this when I'm walking along um, the sidewalk and I see a there's a crack in the sidewalk and a little bit of dirt's falling in there, and and a, a seed somehow has germinated in that little crack and gotten enough moisture. And a blade of grass or a small seedling is growing in it. It doesn't stand a chance, but it it goes for it anyway, as if it's going. You know, it, it's trying as hard as it can, no matter what. And and I I just see there's that uh, power of of nature, and 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 that's something that we can also take away from it. Absolutely. I mean, the the regenerative power of nature is just astonishing, and. I, th I don't think it's ever too late to tap into that power and to be healed by it, but also kind of synergize with it and contribute to it, to making it more, more vibrant and, and more um, generative. And, and that's what we need to do now, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. So, so Adam, uh, before we go, like, where are you showing, you know, your work's being shown right now. You've got a show going um, and you guys, there'll be there's links below so you can follow Adam on Instagram and you can check out his work. But um, tell us, Adam, where um, where can we see these in person? Because it's so totally different when you see them in person. Yeah, you can see them in Healdsburg at the Erickson Gallery, which is right off the square uh, in the middle of Healdsburg, which is a beautiful place to visit, have lunch, take a walk. Um, you can also see them in San Francisco at the MoMA artists gallery which is down in fort mason and um they still have pandemic restrictions down there so they they it's by appointment but uh, hopefully they'll be open again soon um, but they, they've got i think four of them down there and uh they're they're another three or four in healdsburg so um it's nice to see them online but it's it's great if you're in the area to stop by and see them in person check this work out um it is a completely different experience when you stand in front of these. I, I know because I've been doing it for a long time and it is it is something else. So check that out. There's links below. Again, uh, Adam's Instagram is there. And um, Adam, thanks so much for being here. And uh, everyone else, uh, leave a comment below about, you know, just your thoughts about this. It's really actually quite poignant. And um, uh, let Adam know what you think of his work and what you're doing and how it relates and all the rest of it. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much, Nick. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, bye. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.